All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so again, today we're going to get around to some of the new Shonen Jump chapters. Uh, so we've got Kaiju number 8, Takane Banashi, and Spy Family to get through today. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last couple of videos, I'm going to try to get around to read-throughs uh, in the next weekend coming up. Uh, but I think I'm going to take a break and actually do it the weekend after. Uh, just because these last few weekends have been uh, a lot busier than expected. Uh, so I haven't had really had a time to kind of had some downtime to recharge and reset my batteries. Uh, so with all that said, I want to try to get myself burnt out again by trying to take on too much. Uh, so I'll take a break from a thing videos for next week and then come back to the channel uh, the week after that, hopefully rested and recuperated. Uh, so look forward to that. Oh, with that said, there's going to be a lot of good content coming your way this weekend. So if you haven't already, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, before we begin, I also do want to shout out my solidarity to all the student pro protesters across uh, all the university campuses across the U.S. And I think even in uh, Canada, McGill University in uh, Montreal is also having a little protest as well. Uh, so I do want to shout out my solidarity to them because they are unfortunately uh, being abused by the police and the academic institutions right now. Uh, so if you can, support them however you can. Uh, you know, make your voices heard, uh, repost the videos that they're posting, showing the brutal, at least brutality and everything else that they're going through right now. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really brave what they're doing. Really, really, uh, it's really, really good of them for, you know, taking a stance like this. Uh, I just kind of wanted to acknowledge that. Uh, but without further ado, let us get into it with Spy Family Chapter 97 uh, by Tetsuya Endo. With translation by Casey Lowe and lettering by Rina Mappa. It looks like we might be getting a Henderson flashback, as we have a, a good day to you, Matron. It's like, a good day to you, Mr. Henderson. And he's like, what a quiet, elegant morning this is. It's like, no surprise with so many students at home for the end of term break. I do appreciate the smaller loads of laundry. He's like, oh, a little bird mentioned something. She's like, tee -hee, I understand you and you and your partner made quite the darling couple at the dance. <laughs> he's just like, ugh, ah, yes. Uh, he's like, she is merely an old friend. <laughs> and you see Harry Henderson, age 17. And you have, I first laid eyes on Martha when I was in 11th year, just starting the high school program. It was at a talent show for our dorm's New Year's party. She was in 8th year with such a talent for ballet that she'd received a scholarship to transfer into Eden. She was assigned to Cecil Hall the same as I. And you see her just like doing a little ballet pose. And he's like, oh, how elegant! So that was the that moment was the first time I said elegant. And you see, as a transfer student, she'd been widely ignored, but her performance won her many new friends. I, on the other hand, lost a few friends due to my outburst, which earned me the nickname Mr. Elegant. And you see, as he's sitting outside like having a spot of tea, he's like, be ever a gentleman. That was what my father himself, an educator, had taught me. He's like, hmm. And you have a, that sure smells nice. He's like, oh, you're the elegant clapper. It's like, and you're the ballerina. It's like, are you sure you're allowed to drink tea there? It's like, it's a special privilege granted to Imperial scholars, but only before class. And you see uh, baby Martha going, an Imperial scholar, wow. And he's just like, there's one cup's worth left. Would you care for some? And you see, as they're having a little cup of tea, he's like, she had ballet practice before class every morning. And soon she was forcing her way into my private tea time on a daily basis. It's like, it's delicious. It's like, as it should be. It's like, my quiet world of solitude had been intruded upon by a most boisterous invader. It's like, I'm such a big fan of jo Joanna from the Marlowe Ballet Company. Sorry, I'm tripping over my tongue here. And I'm such a big fan of Joanna from the Marlowe Ballet Company. It's like, if you finish your tea, hurry on to practice. It's like, hey, so Henry, it's like, never address an upperclassman by their first name. It's like, but I did not dislike our time together. It's like, sorry I'm late. It's like, I've not I've been awaiting you. And you see a bunch of bullies being like, you know, I never liked that stuck-up attitude of yours. Graduation's almost here. It's high time you and me had a reckoning, Mr. Elegant. And you see as he's like wiping off some blood off his face after he's been hit. With Henry, age 19, 13th year, final year of high school. He goes, committing an act of violence that's three tonitruses for each of you. It's like, see, that's exactly why we hate you, as you see one of them knees him in the stomach. It's like, you think you're so great because you made Imperial Scholar. If you're so elite, how come you don't even fight back? He's like, settling disputes with violence is how animals behave. A gentleman employs discourse. 
He's like, oh, I got some discourse for you. And as he's like writing up a punch, you see Martha behind him doing like a little elegant twirl in the air. As you have Fuet Kick. Oh, Christ. Just tied up like this little mask around her face, like a little bandit mask. And you have a thwack and a herk. He's like, who the? Allongy Chop. It's like, that's enough out of you, as one of them grabs her by the back of the shirt. It's like, huh? It's like, not elegant. <laughs> Anderson and punches him out. It's the curses. I've resorted to animal behavior. You have young men. Human beings are animals. It's like, you fool. What were you thinking, Martha? He's like, no, no, no. I'm the masked warrior ballerina, Lady M. And you see how she's saying that. He just rips off the mask. He's like, oh. You have Martha Marriott, age 16, 10th year, final year of middle school. It's like, what manner of folly is this? It's like, but Henry, they were going to hurt you. It's like, do not use your art for such base purposes. The ballet competition is just days away. You need to keep yourself in top form. It's like, I know that. Okay, no more fighting with ballet. It's like, thanks for worrying about me. Next time I'll use a proper weapon. It's like, Martha, no! How can you behave like such a ruffian? It's like, you threw a punch too, you know. She just screams, crying all the time. Ah! And she's like, Henry! It's like, an act of inelegance. I committed an act of inelegance. It's like, teacher! It's like, no running inside, Henderson. You know that. It's like, Falco and his friends perpetrated violence against me, and I myself retaliated by striking them back. You must punish our thuggery with hydrous bolts at once. He's like, huh? Uh, calm down, son. And he's silent before he goes, Falco's family is a vitally important supplier of munitions for the military. There'd be no end of trouble if I kicked that beehive, so let's pretend nothing happened. It's like, what? But sir. So my bigger concern, Henderson, is you seem to be boycotting your military training courses. Keep it up and you'll earn yourself that tonitrous bolt for sedition. And you have, there had been some enemy, enemity, 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 I cannot fucking say that word. Enmity between East and West for as long as I can remember. It's like, how can I claim to be a gentleman now? It's like, I'm still lacking. It's like, but you are a gentleman. You protected me. Those jerks weren't going to listen to you no matter what you said. How else could you have stopped them? It's like, here, for the swelling. It's like, how else indeed? It's like, huh? I know how. Through education. And you have education breeds character. That is how we put an end to conflict. And you have discord was being sown throughout the world. It's like, be it petty pisticuffs or global war. It's like, huh, pretty sure they'd have punched your face in before you finished your lecture. It's like, a scuffle like that is nothing. It's like, you're trying too hard. As arsenal swell, grudges deepen and poverty grows. We've allowed education to fall by the wayside. It's like, even the teachers at Eden have been corrupted. I'll not let that happen to me. It's like, you want to become a teacher, Henry? It's like, yes, once I graduate, I plan to attend the Berlin University of Education. He's like, oh, wow. It's like, will you pursue a career in ballet? It's like, I'm not sure. I do plan to enter the high school ballet program next year, but how do I perform at the competition to determine whether I can make a career of it? After all, I don't come from a wealthy family like you do. It's like, we aren't wealthy. We're just deposed nobility. Cling to the fading prestige our name held in imperial times. It's like, damn it, my cheek is killing me. It's like, I tried to give you something for that. It's like, a gentleman shouldn't curse. You see the next day they're having tea again. You have a, ew, the tea today is bitter. It's like, the price of imported tea is skyrocketing. So I couldn't afford the leaves for my blend. You'll have to make do. Should we remain on the path of war, it may spell the end of our little tea parties. As he sets his cup down with a chat, she looks shocked. It's like, you know, I think I'm getting used to this. Mmm, it's good. I love it. It's like, regardless, I will be graduating shortly. The right to hold these tea parties will fall to you. Work hard to become an imperial scholar and then seek permission from your teacher. You can keep the tradition alive with your friends. And he's like, so, um, were you planning to invite anyone to the dance at your class graduation party? And he's like, that certainly came out of the blue. He's like, uh, I was just wondering. It's like, as if I would participate in such frivolity. Christ, at a time like this. It's like I was still so ignorant, so obsessed with pursuing my ideals, so desperate to radically change the world that I couldn't keep step with those around me or even spare a thought for the hearts of those even closer. And you see, as he's like grad slamming the graduation, you see a uh, poor mother just kind of standing looking all forlorn. Do you have a what? You just let him leave without ever confessing your love? And you see that Martha's apparently telling this story to Becky, who's like smacking the table. What's wrong with you? It's like, there's no call for vulgarity, young miss. I was young then. Love was still a very distant concept for me. I didn't understand my own feelings towards him. 
or even grasp the reality of it. The next day I went to the garden thinking he'd be there. I had this innocent faith that someone so important to me would always be there. You have a Miss Marriott! You may not have practice today, but that doesn't give you the right to goof off. Hurry up and get dressed. And you see an older Martha looking almost like Fiona now. She's got like a shaggier mop of hair. So what's gotten into you today? You've always been such an early bird. Jeff, two and a half years later, memories of Henry's graduation had begun to fade and the war drums were beating again. My tea was growing bitter once more. You have Martha, age 19, 13th year. And you have Martha, there's going to be an assembly in the auditorium before class. It's like, I can't believe we only have half a year left. He's like, hey, Donna, have you figured out where you're going yet? He was like, Berlin, you of, uh... Christ, this is so small, I cannot see. U of E. He's like, hey, did you hear Mr. Jefferson from Rose Hall went away on a business trip and died? And Martha's like, Berlin, University of Education? Henry should be a senior there by now, if he didn't have a repeat a year. This guy, I know that this is your final term, but we have some new faculty members I'd like to introduce. First, meet Mr. Henry Henderson. He'll be teaching history. <laughs> yeah, but in the days that would follow, the thud of boots and the roar of tank engines would drown out the beating of my heart. Uh, so I guess quick thoughts on the chapter. I was not expecting what looks like we're getting into a Henderson Martha arc. Uh, so I was not expecting that. Apart from that, I have some very mixed feelings on this chapter because on I'll talk, I guess I'll talk about the chapter where we're we'll talking about like why I have mixed feelings on it so I do like the little like the romance between Martha and Henderson and like you know have, you have Henderson being almost a sundere where he's like not acknowledging his feelings he's trying to be like stoic and straight laced and you have Martha being kind of like more like the free bird who's kind of like more open and expressive with her emotions and all that so on the one hand it's like it's really nice seeing like a little back and forth dance they're doing they're like getting like more comfortable with each other as the relationship is progressing. What else is kind of like you have the strict gender binary where it's like, all right, yeah, of course the guy is going to be like all stoic and stuck up and straight laced and the girl's going to be kind of like, you know, the talkative one, the more outgoing, like open one and the thing. So it's kind of like, all right, we're kind of dipping into the tropes well a little bit with this chapter. And I feel like Endo isn't really doing a lot with them to kind of make it their own or kind of put their own spin on it, pun intended, uh, with the chapter. So, I'm like, that's the part where I'm just like, it's nice, but it's kind of also just like, you know, very, very tropey, kind of like going through the motions uh, kind of stuff. Uh, apart from that, I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of these chapters now with Spy Family, it fears very, very close to kind of making a point, especially a point that is very, very kind of crucial and, uh, God, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I don't want to say prescient is not the word because we're in the present stuff right now. But that's very kind of relatable to like conflicts and stuff that's going on in the real world right now. And it kind of gets close to kind of like making a nuanced point about those kinds of issues. And it kind of like sharply veers away to be like, no, we're not going to actually make a point. We're just going to kind of go through kind of like the the kind of like the overt kind of uh, overt kind of themes and like the uh, things about sorry my brain is just so fried that I can't process sentences properly but you have the whole thing where you have like uh, Henderson's trying to be like oh you know violence is never the answer like we have to like educate people to be better and to know better it's like I'm going to change the world through you know through education and elegance I'm not going to use my fist to do it which is kind of like, all right, yeah, you know, it's kind of like a time-worn trouble. Like, oh, you know, violence is never the answer. You just have to educate people better so that they're not ignorant anymore. Kind of yada, yada, yada. Except as we've seen, like, time and time again throughout history, violence, you know, like, non-violence really isn't just, like, the only answer that people must pursue. And I really do dislike how many stories kind of try to preach this idea or message like you know violence is never the answer you must never use it blah 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 because there is more nuance to that i think a lot of these don't really cover or touch upon and i think spy family does the same as well uh but yeah like again i wasn't really expecting a lot from it like i wasn't expecting it to have like a whole treatise on it regarding that but again just 
with everything going on in the world right now, I just it like, kind of lets me down a little bit when these series don't try to kind of think these things through deeper or further. Uh, but, you know, because you, you even have the thing with Martha being like, oh, you know, when he's asking her, like, do you think you're going to go into dance? And she's kind of like, well, you know, it depends on how well I do because my family's not financially well off. Because, again, that is a very legitimate thing a lot of people from marginalized backgrounds struggle with is to get an education. There is a financial disparity that exists there. And a lot of them do rely on things like scholarships, grants. Things like that, which already, like, being a marginalized person, it's super hard to try and take advantage of. And so, like, the series could try and touch upon those things even a little bit, but kind of just kind of, like, dips its toes into that and kind of, like, retreats after, like, just talking about it a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of, like, a little bit of a disappointment in regards to that. Uh, apart from that, I did like the whole... I feel like uh, this hopefully is setting up for an arc where Lloyd and Yor have to kind of start recognizing their feelings as well. I feel like that's what this is setting up to, kind of like the whole misconnections things, like what could have been. Because I feel like this is going to end up with Henry and Martha finally pursuing a relationship, like after all this time, which I think will be nice in the regard of like, in the sense of like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, uh, like, you know, romance never dies, that kind of idea. So I would like that in that respect. Uh, so hopefully see some kind of progression with regards to that, uh, depending on how this arc plays out. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about, like why it's present, because I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, before I even gone through this, like knowing what it's about, I mentioned that there's the protest going on around university campuses right now. Uh, but I also didn't forgot to mention that, you know, every single university or place of education in Palestine, in Gaza right now, has been bombed and destroyed. And I've seen posts on my Twitter from, you know, Palestinians who were teachers talking about, like, you know, showing pictures of, like, hey, these were my students before, you know, the war began, before the genocide began. Uh, you know, this is what they were learning. This is how they're teaching them. Look at, what they're, look at how happy they were. And now they have no place to go to learn or, like, to receive an education because literally every single single place has been bombed and fired and like blown out of existence and so you know having a series talking about like the importance of education the importance of you know, like pe having people be having people being able to have access to education when you're talking about that and kind of not really addressing how important that is to current political events i feel like that is kind of a kind of a a mistime on your part again sorry I'm like I'm trying to find the right words to say this so I don't sound like totally goofy but I just like my brain is too tired for this uh, but I hope what you get I'm, I hope I'm getting my point across and that, that there's so much relevant things going on with regards to this and I feel like as a manga author you could do more you know especially if you're going to harp on with the importance of education you could do more even in your silly little story to kind of inform and educate your readers about important events like this, especially if you're going to end off the chapter with, like, you know, the drums of war, like how it's going to, like, up, up turn over turn your life, especially then I feel like it's even more important to talk about what's happening in the world right now. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll do, like, another video on this because I keep, I meant to do one way back when, when we were having, like, your and her uh, co workers were doing, like, that whole, uh, military parade like honor our veterans uh day parade thing and i was gonna do like a whole uh extra video regarding that so i might like do that do that and one for this and like combine it into one video uh separately and do that and hopefully hopefully i can do that in a more nuanced and engaging way uh but yeah like i enjoyed this chapter but i wish endo if they're gonna touch on topics like this would just put in a little more effort into them uh, thank you guys enough for ending for now. If you all enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I said, there'll be a lot of great content coming out your way this weekend. Till next time, this is Ash. Talk to you all later.